Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's where the video for the Sunday morning, October the 27th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and we finally got some drought denting rains. Uh, I think uh, I picked up about two and a half inches on Friday, three, uh, bringing our total to about three inches uh, after nearly a half inch yesterday. But parts of West Alabama really got some rainfall, especially uh, Friday afternoon, Friday night. Rainfall totals running some uh, four to as much as uh, nine, ten inches across western parts of the state, putting a big dent in the drought across that area. But we still need more rainfall across much of central Alabama. This is a little different look than what I normally show you for the drought. This is the long-term Palmer drought index. Uh, showing a good bit of Alabama was uh, in severe drought through the 19th of October. Now, of course, this doesn't reflect any of the rainfall from uh, Friday or yesterday. But uh, if we look at the uh, all-important uh, long-term Palmer uh, drought severity index, the amount of precipitation needed to bring that index back to near normal, parts of Alabama needed 9 to 12 inches of rain, and they did not get it. That's really parts of areas uh, from uh, Coleman down through Jefferson, uh, up through Cowell, uh, Hoon, Claiborne, up into the northeast corner of the state, uh, whereas they picked up about two and a half, three inches of rain uh, from this system uh, over the weekend. Some parts of that area, they needed nine to 12. So uh, as you can see, the drought's probably in pretty good shape now across western Alabama. Uh, the south central Alabama looking pretty good too, um, but um, we still need some rainfall, and we will get some this week. This is the upper air pattern this morning showing that system that was Tropical Storm Olga moving out to the northeast, upper level low over the Great Lakes beginning to fill in and moving out. Our winds diminishing. Uh, should be a clearing sky today. High temperatures rising into the upper 60s uh, with clear skies. Uh, well, at least partly cloudy skies tonight will drop uh, into the uh, upper 30s to, well, no, so I'm sorry, upper 40s to near 50 degrees. So not anything really very cold. You saw that system over the Rockies, though, that big trough. It'll uh, click out into the um, uh, Plain States uh, by Monday and weaken with time as it lifts to the northeast. But that's going to work with that uh, subtropical ridge there off Florida to uh, sort of bring this front that's moved through the area this morning back to the north. Uh, and uh, possibly uh, retrograde enough to bring some showers to eastern portion of the area, Auburn, places like that. Uh, see some showers by Tuesday. Uh, a few isolated showers making up into the I-20 corridor too. But by Wednesday morning, even stronger system locking into position over the Rockies, getting ready to move out. That progressive system will bring another strong front through Alabama Thursday night, early Friday, setting the stage for a... Um, a dry and cool weekend ahead. Let's go day by day using a blend of the European. This is a look for today, uh, dry, no uh, no more rain. As soon as we move all these clouds out of the area this morning, uh, we'll probably stay partly cloudy through the rest of the day. A lot of low-level moisture still trapped in the area. That keeps temperatures not as uh, cold as they uh, normally might associate to be uh, behind the cold front. But by Monday, uh, again, another dry day. You can see some activity in the Gulf, but here in Alabama, we stay dry. Um, and then by Tuesday, that front begins to uh, try to lift back to the north, uh, winds shift back around to the south. Monday, just an absolutely perfect day. Uh, highs in the middle and upper 70s, lots of sunshine, a light wind. going to be a great day to um, have lunch outside. But by Tuesday, we'll see, uh, really by Monday night, we'll see increasing clouds. By Tuesday, we uh, should see a few showers showing up on the radar, especially over southeastern sections. Wednesday, rain chances begin to increase. Uh, our Southeasterly flow increases. We've got the increasing influence of that trough and uh, a front trying to come in from the west. And it looks like we'll see pretty good rain chances for Wednesday. So uh, slight rain chances Tuesday, better rain chances on Wednesday. And then Thursday, you can see the uh, activity increasing uh, ahead of the front. Rain and thunderstorms will be moving back toward Alabama. we got a surface low there over Illinois, uh, increasing southerly flow over Alabama. And uh, that rain and thunderstorm activity will be into the state uh, late Thursday night, early Friday morning. Doesn't have a, much of a severe weather look to it. Uh, there will be rain and thunderstorms. Most areas probably going to see yeah, somewhere around one half to one inch of rain. Uh, nothing uh, really spectacular, but we continue to uh, pile up rainfall totals. And that that's not a bad thing given the recent drought. Now, by Saturday, things uh, turn out really nice. It'll be cooler. 
uh, high temperatures are going to be in the um, you know probably 58 to 62 range on Saturday. Overnight lows early Saturday morning will be in the 30s over northern parts of Alabama. Some folks will see a frost for the first time uh, by that time. Maybe uh, maybe a few pieces uh, or a few areas see a little bit of frost even Friday morning. Uh, if the system gets on through here now, if the Europeans right takes a little longer, that's probably not going to happen. The um, uh, the GFS a little bit faster with that system. We'll wait to see how that timing works out. Now we stay dry all that following week. Um, it takes till Thursday evening the seventh for us really to see good rain chances across Alabama again. Another front moving in, uh, rain and thunderstorms again a good bet, but again not a severe weather look here. That's Thursday evening the 7th, and just moving ahead a day and a half so you can see what will be happening for the weekend. It looks like another cool high pressure system settling in. We'll see high temperatures up for 50s to near 60. Uh, overnight lows falling into the 30s. Some fall-like weather here in Alabama. Here are those temperatures as we uh, talked about, uh, you know, staying warm. Uh, staying nice, you know, through the uh, few days we got this week before this front moves through here. 78 on Monday, looking just absolutely perfect. Then uh, a trend to cooler for the weekend, uh, warming back up a bit. And that following week, as we get into some fair conditions, we could see a few 70s again that week. Uh, and then it's going to take to the uh, that second weekend in November, that November 9th and 10th. Forced to cool back down will be in the 50s, uh, 30s, and 40s for lows. Taking a quick look at Tropical Storm Pablo. I nearly became a hurricane overnight. Uh, gradually weakening, moving away from the Azores. Going to really kind of move off to the north curve in sort of a counterclockwise faction there. And uh, lose strength beginning tonight. Become extra tropical by Monday. And uh, nothing showing up over the Atlantic Basin over the next two weeks. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday. James will be back for two days tomorrow. Scott will be back next Saturday. I'll see you next Sunday. And until then, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because there's always something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.